Lego Mindstorms Challenge. This competition helps get mankind back on the moon. Well, a Lego lunar surface anyway. Students like us all over the world are going to be prototyping lunar rovers using Lego Mindstorms robotics kits. We hope to come up with the best solution to accomplish all of the challenge tasks. Luckily for us, we have a great source to go to for real-world research about the importance and affordability of space travel and tips on how to make a lunar rover. We bring you the Rocket City Space Pioneers! They are a Google Lunar X Prize team located in Huntsville, Alabama. We had the opportunity to interview Tim Pickens, the team leader of the Rocket City Space Pioneers, via podcasting too. So who is this GLXP team? The Rocket City Space Pioneers was formed by businesses and organizations that wanted to create a partnership to prove that robotic space exploration can be an affordable and sustainable commercial endeavor. What does that mean? It means that these Alabama companies and organizations came together with the plan to make traveling and exploring space affordable. They want to be a viable space exploration enterprise. And that means you and your family can go to the moon. It also means that entrepreneurs want to take advantage of mining helium-3 and launching other space missions from the moon will have an easier time at realizing their dreams. The Rocket City Space Pioneers are also one of the six GLXP teams to supply NASA with scientific data and one of the only three teams to supply them with flight component results. So, what is it like being part of the Rocket City Space Pioneers? Well, today, we got this amazing yellow pack from Tim Pickens. We are official members of the Rocket City Space Pioneers. Isn't it awesome? We got to talk with Tim Pickens, their team leader, on Skype for over 45 minutes and ask him questions about the Google Lunar X Prize Challenge, his business, and get advice on why kids should pursue their space dream. Where are you testing the robot? Because I know me okay. and a couple of my teammates were wondering how you would find the right terrain on Earth to test out the robot for the moon. But we've been looking all kind of similar. Some that, you know, this stuff's very expensive, by the way, to have a uh, moon dust. My advice would be if you really want to have fun, you guys can get some flour or something. Oh, oh thanks. <laughs> or, or go get some, uh, some sand and some who knows what. It's a, it's a really, it's really a fine powder, you know. It's, uh, you know, we actually saw it when we first went. One of the things we really like about the Rocket City Space Pioneers is they have fun and encourage kids to have fun too, like me.